You know, we live in a society today to where the news media will report news based on the kind of feedback it gets, it ratings that it gets off of particular stories. So I'm looking at the news yesterday and I see an article from NBC News and they want to get in on the Mars phenomenon that's going on. So they got a headline here that reads, Mars Curiosity Photos Suggest Life May Have Existed on Red Planet. Well, I'm looking at the photo they got here, and uh, I don't see much life. Now, if they would have looked at another photo that was given to them from somebody besides NASA and put this photo up, it might have at least went along with the headline. Now, you tell me which of those two photos looks like it might be showing life on uh, Mars or past life. I think you conspiracy theorists out there that say everything that's being found up here on Mars is rocks are starting to lose your credibility. You better be careful. We'll be making fun of you here pretty quick. And now for those out there that uh, are always looking to see if NASA's staying on the straight side with us on these pictures, here's something to look at here. Now if this is not manipulation of a photograph, I don't know what it is. It looks to me like something was covered up here. No telling what it was. But definitely this photograph has been manipulated or something. So you conspiracy theorists that think NASA won't uh, manipulate a photograph, that's uh, getting harder and harder for you to hold your credibility. Actually, it's Jet Propulsion Laboratories, JPL, that sends these photos over to NASA. So maybe they're the ones that are uh, doing a little funny stuff with them before they send them over. Who knows? But I do know the big boys get to see the photographs that we don't get to see. All the photographs that we see are in the raw version unless they're furnished to us from either jet propulsion laboratories or NASA that have been that have been processed now this is a prime example of what I'm talking about right here I want to show you the difference between a processed photo and a raw image that, that we get to look at now the only reason we got to see this processed ed edition of this particular photograph is because NASA made a panoramic view that they wanted to put out for the public, so they processed a bunch of images and stuck them together to show the panoramic view. And that was the one you've seen of Sol 52, panoramic view of rock nest. And as you can see from the raw version of this photograph, that's why they missed those little prairie dogs, or they would have never put this thing up without editing them out. And when they did their billion pixel panoramic of this area, uh, those little rascals were gone in it. NASA wants you to see rocks, rocks, and more rocks. And that's all. But they don't want you to see any rocks that uh, might look like something like maybe a face of a statue or something like that. They're not going to process a photo that will uh, show that, well, unless they do a little manipulation beforehand. All you'll see is something to guess at. NASA might like to find a little microbe to show you, but they're not going to show you anything that shows past technology or past life at this point because they don't want to rush to Mars. I wonder what the processed version of this head looks like. We'll never know. Or this little Yoda statue here. I wonder what it looks like when it's processed.